Maharaja Petra be investigated leh for extradition by the Malaysian government eh. Ayah akan datang. This is the Singlish channel. Hey, hello friend. Can you kindly press the subscribe button and also the like button? Thank you. Thank you very much. I am happy watching. Okay, okay, okay. Ha, free Malaysia today. Ah, uh, reported ah uh, that the police or the Malaysian Communication and Multimedia Commission are sure ah uh, at least the assistance ah uh, of the British counterpart there uh, to prop Raja Petra Kamarudina uh, for the misuse of communication network facilities there. Uh, ha 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 ha. Ayah. According to a lawyer, the police or the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission should enlist the assistance of their British counterparts to probe Raja Petra Kamarudin for misuse of communications network facilities. S. N. Nair said the fugitive blogger, who is believed to be living in the UK, had breached its Malicious Communications Act 1988 and the Communications Act 2003. as the publication emanated from the UK the UK law enforcement agencies have jurisdiction and could investigate and prosecute him for breaching their laws he told fmt nayer said attorney general idrus harun could also seek the assistance of the british public prosecutor to extradite raja petra commonly known as rpk to face criminal charges here he said raja petra who blogs under the malaysia today portal may have committed an offence under the communications and multimedia act which provided for a maximum fine of 50000 ringgit or imprisonment of up to a year or both upon conviction we could ask them to hand over raja petra if it's an extraditable offence by virtue of existing government reciprocal arrangements he said nayer a former police officer who had been involved in extradition matters said this in response to court of appeal judge Nazlan Mohamad Ghazali lodging a police report over an article by Raja Petra alleging that he was being investigated for unexplained monies in his bank account the office of the chief registrar of the federal court said Nazlan denied the false baseless and malicious allegations aimed at undermining his credibility as a judge it also said the article titled Judge Muhammad Nazlan being investigated for unexplained 1 million ringgit in his bank published on Wednesday affected the course of the administration of criminal justice and the judiciary Nayer said it was a despicable and futile attempt to blemish and besmirch the impeccable reputation of Nazlan and sully the admirable reputation of the Malaysian judiciary as a whole Nazlan was the trial judge who convicted former prime minister Najib Razak in 2020 for abuse of power criminal breach of trust and laundering 42 million ringgit of SRC funds Datu Sri Najib Razak has withdrawn allegations of bribery against the then High Court judge Datuk Muhammad Nazlan Muhammad Ghazali who convicted and sentenced the former Prime Minister to 12 years jail and 210 million ringgit fine for misappropriating 42 million ringgit of SRC International Berhad funds. Najib made the withdrawal in his further affidavit in reply filed at the Federal Court on Friday via Mr Zaid Ibrahim Suflan TH Liu and Partners. However, the 69-year-old continued to insist that there is additional evidence which will show a serious conflict of interest by the judge and said this was why he was seeking a retrial of the entire SRC case. Najib was responding to the prosecution's July 21st affidavit which had mentioned that his purported personal knowledge of MECC investigations on Justice Muhammad Nazlan cannot be true as the independent enforcement agency would not disclose confidential information relating to an ongoing investigation. 
Recently, the prosecution in Najib's SRC case claimed that the allegations by Najib against the trial judge Muhammad Nazlan, who is now a court of appeal judge, was a desperate attempt to nullify the trial. On April 21st this year, Justice Muhammad Nazlan made a police report over an article published by a news portal with the heading Judge Muhammad Nazlan being investigated for unexplained 1 million ringgit in his bank account which alleged he was investigated for money transferred into his bank account. The judge denied the accusation, describing it as a malicious intent to undermine his credibility as Court of Appeal judge and to disrupt the justice system as well as the judicial institution. Najib's SRC Fund's misappropriation case is at the final appeal stage in the federal court after the Court of Appeal upheld the verdict of the High Court and rejected the appeal of the former Prime Minister. The Apex Court set 10 days from August 15 to hear Najib's final appeal. Hello! Hey, we come to the end really there. Have you pressed the button yet? Subscribe lah. Okay, thank you. Subscribe. And also, press the button like. Yeah, very good. Thank you. And then, have a nice day.